Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. And maybe we're also gonna have a look quickly into Dogecoin because we are still pumping like crazy. But I want to show you a pattern that if you want to trade Dogecoin might be useful for you. So before we start with Dogecoin, let's start here with the Bitcoin price because here in the one hour time frame, as you can see, we had here this drop down to this important Fibonacci retracement level at around $55,300. We got supported for now and we are forming this bullish pattern here, this falling wedge and it looks like that right now we are trying to push higher and the target would be again up here at the top of this wedge at exactly $58,300. So if you're trading that over on uh, Bybit or Femex, then make sure to open up a long position once we are having confirmation that we have the previous resistance trend line now as a new support. So we have to watch out for the next coming hours to see a potential move again towards uh, $58,000 and then hopefully also go up here to test finally this Fibonacci retracement, the 0.7861 right at $61,000 because this one needs to be broken in order to have confirmation that we are out of the woods from this big correction here and we could head again towards new all-time highs because until then the chance is still here that we're gonna create here a lower high and that could mean that we will see lower prices for Bitcoin coming up pretty soon or we just go sideways like we are doing here since now many days already and if we go over now into the four hour time frame here you can see that in theory we are back in a downtrend here so we are trading below the 200 moving average in the 4 hour time frame so also here if you see a 4 hour close above $57,000 so above the 200 moving average and then of course also confirm this as a new support then I think we definitely are heading again towards $58,300 and then most likely also continue towards the 61k. So even though yesterday we have seen this big rejection here back down towards the support here at $55,000, I still think we have the chance here to push higher towards $61,000 since we are cooling off all the indicators here in the lower time frames. But as you can see, we are still going sideways. So there is still no clear sign that we are out of the woods yet and we should expect new all time highs soon here for Bitcoin. So we are still in this no trading zone that's why I also still don't have any trade opened here on Bybit or Femex. I'm waiting on the sideline to have confirmation if we are again heading towards new all-time highs or if maybe we are in for another bigger correction which could take us at least down towards $47,000 potentially even lower if these bearish signs in the bigger time frames are playing out. So in the four hour time frame, I could imagine that here in the next coming hours, we could see an attempt here of pushing higher. We still don't have any buy signal here, but there could be a buy signal here in the next coming hours if we are able to close some four hour candles above the 200 moving average and of course also bring the RSI again above the 50 level. But nothing is for sure yet. We are still below the 200 moving average. So even though here we could see an attempt of pushing higher, we first need confirmation that we are back in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame. So we want to see a couple of four hour candles close above $57,000. Otherwise the likelihood that we could fall even below $55,000. So towards $53,000 is very high before we could see any kind of bigger breakout to the upside here. So here in the lower time frames there could be a chance now to push higher but we still need confirmation so trade with cautious and if you want to trade over on Bybit or Femex check out my referral link down below here to those two exchanges which I'm also using with my referral links you will get some extra money if you sign up with my links. And now let's go over into the daily time frame. 
because uh, yesterday we had a nice close above the EMA ribbons and also above the nine daily moving average, which of course is bullish here for a daily close. We also got here this uh, buy signal confirmed, but since we are going sideways, I don't give too much significance yet to these buy and sell signals since we are completely flat here. Also the RSI is just trading along the 50 level and also the EMA ribbons are completely flat. So we are still here waiting for the next big move for Bitcoin. I think this is the calm before the storm. We're gonna see for sure big movements here for the Bitcoin price in the not so distant future. And since we are still in our bull market and in my opinion still far away from a cycle top, the chances are way higher that we're gonna see follow through to the upside. But that doesn't mean that first we are not seeing another huge correction that could maybe wash out some weak hands and considering that right now we have so many altcoins that are completely mooning, I think we could be overdue for a nice healthy correction here to wash out some weak hands. And if Bitcoin would start to fall here below these important supports that we have and maybe have another bigger correction down towards $47,000 where also the 20 weekly moving average is right now lining up. This of course could also lead into a massive correction in the altcoin space. And you know that when Bitcoin is correcting a couple of percentages, usually we see the altcoins bleeding like crazy. And that's why I can imagine that if Bitcoin could have here one more last leg down towards the 20 weekly moving average, maybe, or in the worst case scenario, maybe even down towards the nine monthly moving average, which so far also didn't get tested here after we got here a sell signal in the monthly time frame. If this happens, if we are coming down to $37,000, that of course would lead into a massive crash in the altcoin space. And then of course we will see a lot of tears in the crypto space. I am not calling right now the top for the altcoins, but I just say that we could get a massive correction here before we had higher if Bitcoin would decide here to come down and test the nine monthly moving average at $37,000 or maybe just come down to test the 20 weekly moving average at $47,000. So since we still have no clear sign that we are out of the woods and we should head now towards new all time highs here for Bitcoin, I think there is still the risk that we could still get one less leg down before we head higher. We are still in our bull market and we should expect here big fireworks to the upside for Bitcoin and of course also for the altcoins. But that doesn't mean that we are not seeing any further correction here. We are still below the Keltner channels. As you can see right now, the Bollinger Bands are coming coming down to the Keltner channels. So something big will happen very soon. And since we are still not out of the woods yet, and also we are still in this miners capitulation phase based on the hash ribbons, I just think that Bitcoin is not ready yet to push higher and break significant resistances above of us. And that's why, in my opinion, as long as we are not able to push higher and start to create again new all time highs here for Bitcoin, the chance is very high that we could get one more less leg down towards 50k and lower and at the same time also get some huge corrections in the altcoins. So if we are not able to close in the next coming days candles here in the daily time frame above $61,000, so above the top of the Keltner channels and also the Bollinger Bands and at the same time also above this important Fibonacci retracement level of $61,000, I think the chances are still there that we could head lower or maybe just go sideways here before Bitcoin is definitely ready to push higher here. So even though I'm still extremely bullish for Bitcoin and I'm not selling anything right now here, I'm still expecting a potential continuation for this correction here before we definitely are heading higher because we still have some warning signs that need to be denied before we are able here to say that we are completely 100% out of the woods and we will head towards new all time highs here in the next coming days without any further correction. And now let's head over into the Ethereum price chart and let's go over into the four hour time frame because also here you can see that we had some warning signs. We had here this rising wedge right at this potential resistance here of $3,500. 
right now we are seeing here a little breakout to the downside but it's not yet confirmed so this of course is a bit worrying here so i am a bit concerned here for ethereum that we could face a potential breakdown here towards three thousand one hundred dollars that wouldn't change much here on the bullish structure for ethereum we will still remain in our uptrend but there is a high chance that if this is going to play out here, so if here we're going to see a breakout to the downside, $3,000 could be tested here in the next coming hours and days. So this potential breakout could happen here, but we still don't have any confirmation. And also right now we are trying to push back within this rising wedge here for Ethereum because Ethereum is looking extremely bullish here in all time frames. And even if we would see here a possible sell off down towards a nine daily moving average here at $3,100, we also could expect here a big bounce to the upside latest here at the 20 daily moving average at $2,750. So that in my opinion could happen such a retest because we are a bit overbought here in ethereum we are still looking extremely bullish but we are having some warning signs like this rising wedge in the lower time frames and also confirmed sell signal in my own indicator so that usually means during an uptrend that we are about to potentially come down to test important support levels before we had higher so also here for Ethereum, I'm expecting short term a potential continuation to the downside, but overall we will still remain bullish. So if we're going to see here Ethereum again sub $3,000, take it as a good buy opportunity. And if you're trading over on Bybit and Femex, take it as a good long entry because we're definitely still looking extremely bullish here and we should expect continuation to the upside here as well. And now let's have a look also into Dogecoin. I still own those Dogecoin that I bought like one year ago and I'm just keeping those coins for fun because it's a meme coin and I don't recommend to buy this coin but if you just want to own some Dogecoin, if you just want to own a meme coin which of course is also fun especially when it's pumping like crazy then of course uh, you're welcome to buy some over on Binance. If you need a Binance account sign up with the link that you find down below here in the video description for Binance to support the channel and now let's have a look here into the four hour time frame because for Dogecoin here it looks like that we are building up here this bearish pattern it's a descending triangle and they usually tend to break out to the downside so if you want to trade Dogecoin or if you want to buy some Dogecoin then maybe wait until here we're gonna have a clear breakout below the support or above the resistance because this will indicate where we are heading to next here for Dogecoin we are in this consolidation phase here and based here in the four hour time frame it looks like that we could be forming here this descending triangle and if we're gonna break out here to the downside we could see again prices below 40 cents and at the other hand if we are able to close four hour candles above the resistance level right here at around 64 cents we could see here a big move to the upside towards new all-time highs the next target would be at around 82 cents so if you want to buy dogecoin or trade dogecoin because you can trade dogecoin also over on femex there you can go long and go short on dogecoin so if you want to trade with leverage go over to femex and trade dogecoin because here in my opinion we are about to see also big moves to the upside or to the downside pretty soon and in the four hour time frame even though we are building up this bearish pattern money flow is still extremely bullish here and that's why the chances are also here that we're gonna see a breakout to the upside so just wait for a breakout from this triangle to see where we are heading to next but since it's a bearish pattern i can imagine that we could see here a breakout to the downside and that of course would lead into a nice buy opportunity if you are interested in dogecoin and i also told you that here in the daily time frame you can see that always when dogecoin was in this consolidation phase after a big pump we always cooled off down to the ema ribbons and as soon as we were right at the ema ribbons we had here a nice big push to the upside so if here we are starting a consolidation phase we could easily come back down towards 30 cents and lower if we are able to consolidate here and don't see a big 
fall towards the bottom of the EMA ribbons because currently they are here at 26 cents and also in the daily time frame we could get here a nice sell signal because uh, next to being overbought we also have a huge bearish divergence here in the RSI so you can see that we have these two highs this is actually a lower high in the RSI and in the price action you can see that we have a huge higher high and that is a bearish divergence together with this descending triangle in the lower time frames so the likelihood that here we could see a breakdown towards 30 cents and maybe even lower towards the bottom of the EMA ribbon here at 26 cents in my opinion is very likely to come not today but maybe in these next coming days also depending where Bitcoin is going to next because if Bitcoin is starting a huge correction again then the play out of these bearish signs here in Dogecoin in my opinion are very likely to come so watch out if you're invested or too much invested in Dogecoin what you're doing here next because we have some huge warning signs also here for Dogecoin which of course wouldn't mean that this is the cycle top but maybe we are just in for a massive correction here. And now let's head over into the DXY, the US dollar index, because as you can see, we got successfully rejected here from the EMA ribbons. And right now we are trading again below the 100 daily moving average. So here I'm expecting continuation down towards this main support here at around $90.50. If somehow we would not see here a bounce to the upside because we are still in this ascending broadening wedge which is a bearish pattern then if we're gonna lose here this ninety dollars and fifty cents we're gonna see a massive fall in the US dollar index towards eighty nine dollars and potentially even lower and that of course would mean that we're gonna see big fireworks in the crypto and stock market here if the DXY is failing here to have a big bounce to the upside I think that this will fire up the crypto and stock market by a lot here because the DXY is still in this bearish pattern and uh, this uh, little uptrend that we have seen could be over and in that case we should expect here to go way lower for the next coming weeks and months in my opinion and therefore now let's head over to Nasdaq because Nasdaq of course uh, profits a lot when the DXY is falling and as you can see we had here this nice bounce out of the bottom of the EMA ribbons and right now we are pushing again higher towards the 9 daily moving average here $13,800. I think here we are about to come up and retest this potential new resistance here at $13,850. If here we're getting a buy signal, money flow is negative here. So Nasdaq had a massive uh, drop here. And if we are able to get here a buy signal, bring money flow again into positive and of course go above the 50 level in the RSI, the chances are very high that we are able to push higher again and not confirm this potential new resistance here at $13,850 because if this would be the new resistance then here we could see then a rollover and then of course continue to go lower than the EMA ribbons here currently at around $13,500. So Nasdaq was looking extremely bearish here but since we got now a successful bounce right here at the bottom of the EMA ribbons here in the daily time frame I'm expecting here a nice breather towards $13,850 and then we're gonna see what will happen because if here we're getting rejected this could be also a bearish sign for the Bitcoin price but if Nasdaq is able to push again within this ascending triangle and maybe even have a big breakout to the upside then also here for Bitcoin we could expect big continuations to the upside without any further correction so right now it's a bit sad to see that Bitcoin is just going sideways while all the other altcoins are mooning because don't forget that Bitcoin is still the big boy and all the gains that the traders are making in altcoins at the end will float back into Bitcoin or into some stable coins if we are approaching a bear market so don't worry if you're missing out into some gains my friends don't FOMO in into some altcoins just stick with the big boy here and at the end you will be the winner this is for sure so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and the big shout out goes out to bitscap they are offering to our community the pro plan for 40 days completely for free you can easily connect all your exchanges to one platform and run trading bots on them they are very profitable and after 14 days if it's paying out for you you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is starting only for 19 dollars month so you should get this money very easily and quickly 
back if you're interested in that make sure to sign up with the link down below here in the video description and another big shout out goes to our great crypto community over on discord if you want to join our community here then make sure to use the official invitation link that you also find here in the description once you have clicked on that then you just go to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you want also my own indicator here which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin you have to send a little donation so you can contact me directly here on discord otherwise just get a youtube membership and you also get access to the live stream indicator for free so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye